what's good you guys it's your girl cutie and i'm back with another video we have a little bit of audio to play you guys but before we get into the audio y'all get this tea okay so word on the celeb streets is that Blueface allegedly was messing around with the guy that sliced him remember the slice slice i gotta say that because y'all know youtube is getting real strict around here bro okay but you know the guy that sliced them's girlfriend you know that's who Blueface allegedly was messing around with okay all right um but this is the thing whack 100 100 100 whatever his name is spilled all the tea girl okay um because y'all know he is always in folks business but won't speak on what that girl was saying about him a long time ago okay because we didn't forget what that woman said about you and how you get down whack okay but anyway let's go ahead and play this little audio and then we're gonna go ahead and uh talk about it all right oh he said it he tripping over his broad whoever the broad is we don't know these women get caught they can go in that text message and then they get the line they get to the talk about i didn't know i was drunk or they just not say nothing and he reading you know you telling her what you didn't did she's like yeah let's do it again man niggas get mad he gonna keep her i don't want to you. That's all it was. The nigga kept mentioning my girlfriend, my girlfriend, my girlfriend. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. He was saying, don't nobody know who his girlfriend is though. Ah, uh, nah. I know, bro. I know. Nah, Christian didn't send him up in there. Nah, hell nah, because he's saying his girlfriend. So it's probably some old flow, you know, some backstage little bop. So you guys, when um Wax said in the beginning that um he said that's when he was talking about Blueface and said allegedly that is what Blueface said that Blue allegedly was fooling with the dude's girlfriend and the dude of course was saying you know that's my girlfriend my girlfriend whatever but that's crazy all right and Krishan and Jaden are hardcore fighting over this dude and he's out here living his best cheating life okay now you know a woman can love a man so much that he becomes her idol okay and when you have to spend all of your your time excuse me trying to keep a man happy then that means you need to release him okay niggas real life be demons and women not even knowing about them being a demon okay i'm just saying i'm just saying love isn't pain love isn't anger love is not hate okay and this man has hurt several women okay innocent women some of these women he's hurt for no reason okay his exes that stripper that um he called and flew her out and left her and laughed about it and put it all on social media for clout and, and a little bit of laugh and trolling i thought that that was fucked up that he would do something like that okay Krishan, Jaden, hell even carlissa sipica built self okay he has done a lot of harm to women in his life in my opinion okay make no mistake boys like this are not meant to lead okay i knew he was thrown off in my opinion when he said in that song that he wrote and i guess it's called daddy or something he wrote that song talking about rock and he said and i quote i'm your daddy now okay what logical adult talks like that okay we're not even gonna get on how he spoke on what he would do to that baby allegedly from what Krishan said on her live you guys i know a lot of y'all remember that and he keeps constantly adding innocent women to this toxic toxic situation how many times have we seen a new woman it's like a new woman every two weeks every two months every what what is it okay and as women we have to learn these signs okay we can't ignore the red flags now and to the man who sliced blue you really think that blue face was worth your freedom okay and the woman that you sliced him behind i hope she at least contributed to your bill uh your bill okay because if not no sir and the lady the young girlfriend whoever uh ma'am if a man is so angry that he wants to slice someone and and harm somebody uh then that's a hell no okay that's not a healthy way to release anger all right i'm all for people defending themselves but no crazy is crazy stupid is stupid all right it's like those folks i always used to say 
pick and choose your battles. And I really just feel like that was very ignorant of Blueface to even just go up and hit the guy, okay? Regardless of the fact, you know, and then on top of that, they always say you can't bring a bang bang to, a, you know, a, a, no, a slicer to a bang bang fight. You get what I'm saying? A gun to a knife. Okay, you get it? That old saying? But I don't know, you guys. I just feel like it could have been a situation to where Blue could have really seriously got hurt. And I'm just thankful, y'all, for real. Even with Blue, I'm really thankful that that boy did not get hurt. Because y'all know he was over there on that show, all on social media, saying, girl, talking about, B, you giving God my credit and I don't have it. And God said, oh, okay, you playing with me? Hold on. And, baby, next thing we know, the boy got sliced and diced. All right? You can't be, God forgive me, you can't be playing with God like that, girl, sir. All y'all over there. And on a crazy look, y'all better stop playing with God like that, okay? But um, you just, you know, you just gotta be careful. And um, I don't know what's to come of Blueface as far as after this injury. I don't know if he has to, you know, cancel a bunch of appearances or interviews because he's been on quite a few interviews. Okay, we've seen in the last week he's been on two big major interviews, um, with two different women, and he just basically was spilling the beans. You know, we listened to the audio. You guys go check out my other video where we listen to the audio to where blueface says straight up if my mama that's not my mother um she means nothing to me and then of course we saw the other live um the live um what is it i'm thinking the live um thing where he was talking to that other girl and he was talking about Jaden and Krishan. But you know what? That interview where he was talking about Jaden and Krishan and why did he put on Jaden? I mean, put on Krishan before Jaden. That interview to me, the girl that put that out, I feel like she waited too long to put that out because when she finally did put that interview out, maybe she had to edit it or something. I don't know. But when she finally did put that interview out, it was like nobody was interested. Girl, you got to get on it. Like when this, when this content come out, you got to make sure your supporters got it on time you can't afford to sit up here and be like oh let me spin it no now if it's sunday take you a little break we all deserve a little break but i just feel like she waited too long to you know what i'm saying i feel she waited too long to drop it i was like girl when you gonna drop this interview girl i didn't even go over there and look at the whole thing i need to go look at it so we can do a review on it um y'all let me know in my dms on cutie underscore tv um on instagram if y'all want me to review that um interview because i don't know y'all i just it, it looked kind of boring to me did y'all see it already girl it just looked really boring i mean no shade of tea y'all go check it out give that girl her views but the last time i checked i went over there girl and i think it was yesterday and when she dropped it she only had 2k views maybe she could have maybe you know what she should have did she should have interviewed Krishan and Blueface, okay? And if Blueface was like, oh, no, you got to have both of us. So if you, you know, if you either choose one or, you know, both of us cost different prices. So maybe the girl's like, look, I can't afford both of y'all prices. So let me just choose Krishan. I don't know what it is. Anybody with common sense would always choose Krishan because, I mean, what can Blueface tell you? I, I mean, what can Blueface tell you that anybody is interested in? Krishan, the one got the drama. Krishan got the one, the clout. Krishan is the one that everybody is over there watching and, you know what I'm saying, seeing what's going on. Krishan got the, the people, you know, wanting Krishan. They got the people wanting to know what's going on, girl, what drama come popping up today. You know what I'm saying? So, Blueface, we, it's the same thing with your mama. Your mama agitating the hell out of everybody. And I think that that's kind of um falling on you, too. You know what I'm saying? And Carlissa don't care about nobody's career but her own. And Carlissa, that trolling she doing, honey, it's just too much. I think that that makes her look bad. I think that that makes y'all brand look bad. If y'all got a brand, baby, who knows? Uh, but that just make the whole crew of the redfish, blue fishes over there look, look crazy. Okay. And that's just my humble opinion. So I want y'all to let me know what you guys think. Okay. That is my time. You guys make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.